If I took every program, every ebook, every digital download, every course you've done away from you, if I took away your mentors, would you know how to create revenue stability in your business today? That's what I'm talking about in today's episode. So let's get into it. Hello, beautiful. Welcome back to another episode of The Soul Led Millionaire. I'm so excited to bring you today's episode. Today, we're talking about revenue stability and the truth about creating consistent income. So something I talk about and I completely believe in, which is I think my ethos for running a business, is that you get to make money in all the ways, all of the ways, high end, low end, mid range, you get to do it all. You can be a multi million dollar entrepreneur selling $27 ebooks and $47 workshops, as well as $2,000 digital courses and 10K masterminds. You get to do it all. You are not locked into a certain box of how it gets to be. You decide the rules, you decide how it gets to be at any time, always. And when it comes to creating revenue stability, Most of the online business owners do not have this down. They don't. They don't know what to do. They're changing their minds multiple times, all the time. They're buying new programs, investing in different mentors, buying more digital downloads that they don't actually need to tell them how to make money in another way. But they're not really focusing on their own center. They're not really focusing on their own core and choosing how to make their own revenue stable. They're not deciding. And this is something I'm actually talking about in my free five-day workshop, How to Make Six Figures in 2023. And if you aren't in that yet, what are you doing? What in the world? You can go opt in for that down in the show notes below. You you have to get onto the Six Figure Society waitlist to do that, but you can still get in. There's still time. And with these people, what I notice is that there's, there's an avoidance of wanting to take responsibility. This is something I noticed with a, a particular sabotaging pattern with money that I had, is that even though I knew better, I was avoiding it. I didn't want to know. I didn't want to work on it. And I noticed this as a pattern with people in their businesses. Even though they know, they don't want to do it. They don't want to deal with it. They want to find the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. And the problem is when you're constantly looking for the next thing is that you keep looking for the next thing. You never actually stop and implement and find something that works for you. And so therefore you never really make the kind of money that you want to make in your business. You never make the impact that you want to make in your business. And you never have the peace and the calm and the stability that you want in your business because there's this desire for drama. And it's usually a subconscious one. No one wakes up in the morning and says to themselves, how could I waste my life today? No, there are subconscious patterns running in the background. And so that's what I noticed with people who aren't making the money that they want. They aren't taking responsibility. Like I had someone reach out to me the other day and she said, I've done this for three years and then nothing worked. I never made a cent. And I went back to her and I said, if you've done everything, tried everything for three years, you would have absolutely made money. So I can assure you that I know that you didn't. Because if I tried every single thing that I had learned over three years, I would have made money. Because I am. I'm doing the things that I've learned over the last decade of my business. And oh, guess what? I'm making money. So you have to take responsibility for your part. You can't be blaming other people. can't be blaming this course or that person or that mentor or this product or that customer or your entire audience. You can't be blaming other people for your results. You are responsible for your results, just like you are responsible for your own revenue stability. So the question is, how do you actually create it? How do you create consistent income? How do you create this revenue stability that you so desperately want? Like, I don't think any of you are sitting there thinking, you know what? I really want an unstable business. I really want to wake up and not know how the fuck I'm going to make money today. I really want that. None of you are saying that. None of you are thinking that. What you want so desperately is to have consistency with money, is to have consistency with income, is to know how to make money every fucking day and to know that no matter what, if the sky fell down tomorrow, you would still know how to make money. So how do you do that? Well, number one, you have to think long term. 
right? You have to think about the long-term trajectory of your business. You don't need to do everything now. <laughs> so many people are like trying to rush and trying to make everything happen now. But if you think long-term, you realize, oh, there's stability if I think of it over the long-term. If I'm just trying to do everything right now, I'm not going to make a quality product. I'm more than likely going to burn myself out. And I'm not going to create stability with money. I'm going to create feast of famine patterns because when I'm burning out, I'm not going to be able to show up in the way that I want to. So you have to think across a long term period in terms of how you're going to make money. So how I do this is I create a sales plan. I decide what I want to sell each month. Usually I look at it a month out. I don't tend to look over a year, although I have tried that, but I never stick to it. I wind up selling different things. <laughs> so I look over a month period and I decide what I'm going to sell, when I'm going to have a break and how I'm going to do all of these different things, right? So if you do that over the long term, if you pace yourself out, if you give breathing space to your offers, you will create more consistency and more revenue stability doing it that way than if you were to try and just smash it all out in a couple of weeks. It takes time to build a business, just like it takes time to build an audience, just like it takes time to build income. But you can't just build all of your consistency and stability in a day. You have to take time to think about it and to pace yourself. And when you pace yourself, when you think about the long game in your business, there are other factors that aid it as well. Because if you're able to space everything out across a long-term period, let's think of a year, then you're able to show up more consistently in your business in order to do that. And if you're able to show up more consistently, you're able to sell more because more and more people are coming into your business and they're seeing you show up and they're seeing you be consistent and they're seeing that you're present in your business and that makes them want to invest. So they might come into your business today, but they don't buy it until six months from now, right? If you're not thinking long-term, if you're just thinking about getting money now, I need the money now, you're consistency over time is going to be extremely wonky. And so people aren't going to know if you're showing up or if you're taking a break or do you even have a business anymore? Like what's happening? So consistency in yourself and how you're showing up creates consistency in your results and how much money you're making over time. Another way of creating consistent income is creating different avenues for income, right? I always talk about you get to make money in all the ways. Like I said at the beginning, you get to make money in all the ways. You get to have money coming in from different avenues. So for example, one may be through your own launch system. Another might be through a funnel system, a sales funnel system. Another might be through affiliates. Another might be through membership income. Another might be through a Kindle ebook you've written. Another might be through merchandise you sell. But you get to make money in all of these different ways and it gets to funnel back into you, right? And what I've noticed is that a lot of people don't do that. They just have one way they, they make money, like one offer they sell in one way. And it's usually an active in real time strategy. So they're doing it in real time. So they're selling in real time. And they don't have things set up in the background and on the back end and they don't have other areas where they can make money from. So their, their results are literally dependent on their effort. And that is not a way to run a business at all. Like that's the fast train to burnout. So not only do you have to think about the long term, but you have to think about how the money is coming in. Because you can't be the only one showing up, putting your effort in, in order to make it. You can't just be relying on payment plans, you know, if you're selling a higher ticket program. Instead, you've got to, over time, set up different things that enable you to make money multiple ways. So say, this month you're launching your brand new course, and you focus on selling that. Maybe you're selling it at a higher ticket price, or maybe it's like, let's say $497, and people can buy it outright, or they can do a payment plan and let's say you do a three month payment plan of $197 a month. So for the next three months, if people sign up for the payment plan, they're going to pay you $197 a month. If someone signs up full and the full pays the full price, that's $497. Now let's say while those payment plans are coming in for the next month, you focus on setting up a sales funnel that helps sell that particular course 
for you on autopilot so you don't have to keep selling it every bloody month to be able to make money. You set up that funnel and now you've got income coming in consistently from that particular funnel. And then the next month, let's say you want to create a new offer. You want to create a $27 ebook and you want to sell it to your email list. Then you roll that out. You get a nice cash injection, cash infusion into your business. And then you decide that you're going to write your book, your first book, and you're going to publish it on Amazon. And that's going to take quite a bit of time because writing a book does take time. So as you're writing this book, you are also going to set up an affiliate program for your course that you created so that the current students that you have in your course are now going to become affiliates and then sell your course for you. So over a period of three months, instead of just only selling one product and showing up in real time, selling to your audience, you have leveraged yourself to be able to make money in three different ways. You've got your launch model, but now you've also got a sales funnel, you've got affiliates, and you've got potential book income about to come in. So it's about being smart in business and being able to decide what it is you want to do because fun has to be the main element of your business. If you are not enjoying your business and you're only doing it for money, fucking hell, that's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> it's going to be a soul crushing nightmare that just lasts forever until you decide to finally give up. But I don't want that for you and I know you don't want that for yourself either. So to create stability, do you realize that you have to also become stable in yourself and how you're operating in your business and being smart about it? You have to decide that number one, you get to make money in all the ways. Number two, think long term. Your business isn't meant to be around for five minutes. It's meant to be around for you know 50 years, hopefully. <laughs> now, if you like the sound of that, if you want to do that, create consistent income in many different ways, my signature program, Six Figure Society, is open for enrollment for like the next three days. And in this program, I teach you how to create consistent five figure, 10K plus months, whatever your goal is, recurring every single month, right? And I teach you how to do that through multiple ways from automation systems like funnels, like tripwires, like upsells, like cross sells. I teach you to do that on social media. So if you decided, oh, you know what? I want to try making money straight off social media, I teach you how to do that. If you just want to be able to have a few cash injections so that you can have some money in the bank, like you need the money right now, I teach you how to do that. If you want to know how to pre-sell or pre-launch and then launch your product in the most simplest way, I teach you how to do that. If you want to build an affiliate program, I teach you how to do that. I teach you all the ways that I know how to make money and how I make money in my business. But I'm obviously not going to say, do it all at once, right? Instead, what I teach you to do is to follow what you're naturally drawn to, what you naturally signed up to the course for, start there. And then slowly, over time, think in the long term, you stack these strategies on top of each other. You pick the ones that you really like, that you're really interested in, and then you stack them on top of each other. Once you've got one system implemented, you can now implement another one so that you always have money coming in, no matter what. If one avenue happens to dry up for whatever reason or some kind of tech issue happens, it's okay because there's still money coming in from the other avenues. That's what this course is about. That's what this program is about. And if you would love to create that in your business, enrollment is open. Come and learn about it. I only launch this program once a year. So if you want in, it's time to jump in. And if you have any questions, just DM me on Instagram. Okay. All right, my lovely. That is how you create revenue stability. Thank you so much and I will see you again next week.